powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on eSports. Vladimir for mission. So no one can stop mission this time around. He has the ability to hyperscale into late game and he has free access into the bottom line. Here's, here's that level two gank. Rocks are looking to go in, gets the boff off straight into the rocks. Mission gonna get the ghost on. It's only level two. He's not at pool. I don't think so. Getting shoved back on. And it's a flash forward from first blood to Broxa. Ooh, frank disrespect for mission. He should have known better. Three errors. A, didn't have the pool or didn't pool, wasn't able to walk away. And B, wasn't playing towards the top side. Now Cap's caught. Yeah, he might be in trouble, but he does have that cleanse. Uses it, turning around on Gemini as Broxa and Caps chucks a rock at the back of his head. Out in the tri brush and might get baited in. False sense of security for the little Cho'Gath. Justice Punchy and Shield of Durand is gonna get the taunt off. And in comes Caps and Broxa. Hello and goodbye. Barrel's coming out, and that's gonna be Caps picking up his second kill of the game. And suddenly, Fnatic, three minutes so much easier for him to find correct angles to dissipate the tornado. Oh, well, there we go with the charm, and here comes the wall. Teleport now coming off the backside of it. They've already got the heal down, but Unified is gonna fall. Reckless picking up one. Rearus going for the rupture, does not land on to Caps, and now Gemini's joined the fray. But it's 3v4 all the same. They keep chucking rocks back and forth. Mission. Mission, trying to come in for the flank. That's some low Fnatic members. He does not have healing play. Caps, he gets stopped up, but he's able to cleanse outside of the ice bowl. Rearus, they turn on him, and Broxa throws down the barrel to take him out. Fnatic still trying to hang tough, but it looks like Jezus is going to get taken out. And the pull down for mission here. Jezus punching forward, looking for the Vladimir Caps. It's going to fall. No! It's Gemini who does it. They've got the wall up. Let's see if they can get Kai Wing and Unified pulling back the blades. And Caps wants to go forward. Does get the knockoff on the Janna, and they combo on in. Hello, goodbye. Kai Wing's taken out in the blink of an eye. Yeah, the CC lock doesn't even get a, a chance to respond with the Monsoon. The flick up into the quickness brilliantly played between Caps and they're not done. Going bowling onto to Unified oh, yes, and they just keep on diving in the back and down he goes. It's Caps who's responsible for the final hit onto Unified. Gemini realizes there is no way in hell he's gonna save this tower. Who gets the Justice Punch away. Fnatic might have gone a little too far forward and they might lose Jezus for it. He gets eaten up and then Mission delivers the finishing blow. And that's one of those instances where Fnatic will always look forward, they'll always look Jezus for this right now. He's the big uh, trigger or go button on this call. Oh, but Gemini is the one who got got on top of the charm is there, but Rerus is still zoning three out on the front. Soaz right in the middle getting the shield to Durand out. Even the red buff is in the mix. Looking for Gemini flashing the wall and in comes Mission around the side. Can they turn the fight? That's a Shut down onto Caps, looking for more. Even gets the smite down onto the red, and now Stoaz is caught up. It's a double kill for Cho'Gath. And finally, HKA welcome themselves into a mid game and finally win a team fight. And however, as soon as everyone responds, he is able to just sneak out. The teleport comes in for Rearus. Let's see if he's going to be able to turn the fight in favor of Fnatic. We're split off between the two. Cut off, Reckless, Soaz. Reckless is going to have to flash away, but Rearus is turning right for him anyways. And they decide, even though the front line's chasing Jezus, is going to try to keep the defense going, and they're going to be able to take him down. Those Spikes looking for even more as Unified finds a kill. Mission falls to Caps right in the middle of it all. Just outside of the main part of the fight, it's still a 1 for 2 in favor of Hong Kong. If they can get one more pick, should be able to do it, but gotta be careful. He's still pretty potent on that damage, and this is the cutoff. Just looking for him as he flashes away, buying a little bit more time for the team, but the kill is gonna be given over to Unified all the same. That's his second on the game. Now, that said, they in a winning position for the series. Yeah. Rearus getting caught there, charmed up, Battle Dance knocking him back, and they even throw the barrel out once more. Fnatic really wanted to leave this Cho'Gath off the map, but it's bought just enough time for the rest of Hong Kong Attitude to come through. Down he goes, shut down Mission, looking for the Hemo Plague. He finds it on multiple members, but the Redemption's coming down, and so is the Galio right on top of Jez's Mission. Gets the kill, but he's gonna fall for Reckless, turning it back around, but HK, they've decided they wanna fully commit to this one as Unified takes down the Galio. Smoke is not cleared just yet. That's a shutdown for Caps. And now Gemini being chased back away from... Oh, him. no! The Body Slam forces the flash out. Insta Tornado. Reckless still on the chase. Let's see if they're able to find him under tower. He's going to have to throw one barrel and not say goodbye just yet as they've brought Caps as well. Getting the bop up. Gemini taking all that damage and even under the tower. Caps says, that's fine. I can throw a few more stones and get the ace. And Caps is just a beast. You know, uh, Gemini uses the smite. And so they say it's 4v5. Vladimir's bottom. Let's look for the team fight instead. And now the team fight is going to start once more. Gemini going forward does not manage to land a stun off. And now the Baron is being done by two while the rest of Fnatic push HKA back. They've clearly committed to the objective they want to be able to secure. But Rerus running forward. Let's see if he can get the flash over the wall just in time. He doesn't know it's happening. It's gone down. Smited by Broxa. 
And now Hong Kong Attitude have to deal with Fnatic's five-man Baron. And that was well executed from Fnatic. They don't even take the 5v5, they take the Baron for free, and now looking for the fight. Oh, the flash forward, the taunt, and down goes the Vladimir. No pool for you, and Caps is even gonna get some relief in the form of Soaz and Broxa. Jez is jumping in, getting a three-man charm on, and Hong Kong Attitude, it looks like things are not looking so good for this team, flashing back away from the tower with the Baron Empowerment. Fnatic are charging for the win right now. They wanna prove they can get into the group stages, and they are so close to doing it. And Caps is already in the base. He's led with the wall. His team has a massive creep wave up into the top lane. Gemini flashing forward the shove, and Gemini's gone down even through the stun. Doesn't mean a damn thing. Two members of Hong Kong Attitude are all that remain to try and push Caps back, but up in the top, they're losing pressure. Yeah, Soaz has teleported up into the top lane. They still have a massive creep wave. There's two cannon waves. They're going to end. And it's 15 seconds before anyone's even going to come right back up. So Fnatic, they realize they have the superior fight with only two members remaining. Make that one! Kai Wing all the way back to base, and Fnatic are looking to put this one away. Caps goes golden, and he has got a big smile on his face, no doubt, as Fnatic looking for the final fight. Desperate finish here for Hong Kong Attitude, but it is one, two, three, the coup de grace, and Fnatic are moving on to the groups here at Worlds 2017. And Fnatic, look over at Cloud9. Anything you can do. You can do better. They finish the games faster and just have a dominant performance in the best of five that a lot of people were looking at that this had the highest chance for upset. And Fnatic carried from multiple lanes, multiple members, and from early and late game. Fnatic absolutely earned some massive respect for themselves in this series. Game one, we saw some of the same type of team play, but it was still clean and clinical to come back into it. Games two and three, we saw that multifaceted Fnatic that we know could shine, putting resources on caps. And when he's got gold, that boy's a monster. It's not just him. Again, also props to...